Named after the father of Jupiter in Greek mythology, Saturn is the most distant planet that can be seen with an unaided eye. With its majestic and complex ring system and the highest number of moons, Saturn resembles a miniature solar system. It has been studied extensively to understand our own solar system. As Saturn itself is a big ball of helium and hydrogen with no solid surface, it is unlikely to host life on it. But the same cannot be said for its moons, especially Titan and Enceladus. The Possibility of Life on the Moons of Saturn The Saturnian system is estimated to have 83 moons, in which 63 are confirmed and 20 remain nameless. Unlike Jupiter's largest moons, most of the moons of Saturn, except Titan and Enceladus, are thought to be desolate worlds of ice. With the Cassini-Huygens mission, Saturn and its possible life-hosting moons, Enceladus and Titan, are studied extensively. Cassini's Saturn orbiter discovered and confirmed the underground ocean on Enceladus, and Huygens landed on Titan to probe its atmosphere and surface, making it the farthest landing ever performed. Although Titan and Enceladus stand out in this extensive research, Mimas is also speculated to have a subsurface ocean. As we know, a liquid ocean and organic components are key to finding life similar to that on Earth. But, there is also a possibility of finding exotic life related to the unique chemical composition of the moon. Titan, an atmospheric moon. Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system, as Ganymede is just 2% larger. And this makes Titan bigger than the planet Mercury. This huge moon of Saturn is the only moon to have a dense atmosphere in the solar system. Its atmosphere constitutes 95 to 98 percent nitrogen, 1.4 to 4.9 percent methane, and small amounts of hydrogen. It is the only world, aside from Earth, to have standing liquid bodies, like rivers, lakes, and seas on its surface, and is the only other place in the solar system besides Earth to have liquid cycles, raining from the clouds, flowing across the surface, filling the lakes and seas, and evaporating back into the sky, like the water cycles on Earth. Although, instead of water, methane goes through this cycle on Titan, meaning the rivers, lakes, and seas of Titan contain liquid methane, and its clouds contain methane gas. Multiple gravity experiments by Cassini spacecraft show that Titan's surface is concealing an underground ocean, possibly mixed with salts and ammonia. Huygens probe's measurements indicated that the subsurface ocean is located 55 to 80 kilometers below the icy surface of Titan. The discovery of the underground ocean led researchers to advance Titan in the list of possibilities of life in the solar system. Now, there are two possibilities of life on Titan. One is a water-based life, similar to life on Earth with the underground ocean, and another is methane-based on the surface. With the underground ocean and hydrocarbons of life, we may look at microbial life or life similar to that on Earth. The chemical reactions can serve as an energy source and source of nourishment for this kind of life to be sustained. It is very much similar to the estimated possibility of life on Europa or Ganymede. Theoretically, for life to start, liquid hydrocarbons such as methane can be enough. The cryovolcanic activity on Titan, coupled with liquid methane, may produce life that is unlike Earth's life. As liquid methane acts as a solvent, just like water, Titan can harbor exotic life that is methane-based. This could mean rivers, lakes, and seas of methane on Titan could serve as hot spots of life. And there is a possibility that both kinds of life may exist simultaneously on Titan, as the surface crust separates two different environments. Although there has not yet been any proof of life on Titan, its intricate chemistry and unusual environments will undoubtedly make it a site for future exploration. Enceladus, the tiger-striped moon. 
named after a giant in Greek mythology, Enceladus is the sixth largest moon of Saturn. It is also tidally locked with Saturn. Enceladus has a variety of geological features, from craters to newly formed icy surfaces. Gravity-based experiments have discovered a global underground ocean that is 10 kilometers deep under a 30 to 40 kilometer thick ice crust. These measurements are from its south pole. The underground ocean exists between the icy crust and the rocky core. This fascinating ocean world constantly shoots icy particles into space that are mixed with water and basic organic chemicals. A plume of the material that extends hundreds of miles into space is released at a speed of about 800 miles per hour, or 400 meters per second. Enceladus receives some of the material that escapes and returns, and some of it forms Saturn's enormous E-ring. This gave the Cassini spacecraft a chance to test these plumes that are ejected from the underground ocean through some hydrothermal activity. Cassini's instruments directly sampled the plume and detected a surprising mix of volatile gases, water vapor, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and organic materials. This made this moon one of the primary targets for the study of life beyond Earth. Recently, scientists have discovered a key ingredient of life, phosphorus, in the salty ocean of Enceladus. Phosphorus, in the form of phosphates, is essential for all living things on Earth. It is required for the formation of DNA and RNA, energy-carrying molecules, cell membranes, bones, and teeth in humans and animals, as well as the plankton microbiome in the sea. This discovery may increase the chances of habitability of the Saturnian moon immensely, and the discovery of the underground ocean on Enceladus also made researchers rethink the idea of habitability beyond the habitable zone of a star system. Mimas, the Death Star Moon Mimas is the smallest astronomical body to be in a round shape due to self-gravitation. It has a huge crater named Herschel, which gives it the look of the Death Star in Star Wars. According to research, Mimas may harbor a liquid water ocean. Located 15 to 20 miles, or 25 to 30 kilometers, beneath the moon's impact battered surface. But there is no concrete evidence of an internal ocean. If one did exist, it would become a moon with the potential for life. The Future there is scant evidence as of now that any other moons in the Saturnian system host an underground ocean, but in the future, we may discover similar worlds with different types of equipment. The next mission to Saturn's moons is delayed, as the exploration of Jupiter's moons is given priority for funding. Titan Saturn system mission is proposed to be operated with a launch date before 2029. This mission will constitute a Titan orbiter, a Titan atmospheric probe, and a Titan lander with Enceladus flybys. A mission called Dragonfly is proposed to be launched in 2027. This will send a drone to Titan for exploration. It is slated to reach Titan in 2034. It is a long journey from Earth to Saturn, so every mission we send there costs time and money. But this journey to find life will never cease to quench the curiosity of humans for exploration. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.